is uh, the structures of the, uh, the male reproductive system. Um, we'll start off uh, on here before we move the, this structure right here. Uh, we have, of course, the testy, uh, the epididymis here. You can actually see the uh, testicular artery and vein here. And as we come up, all of this is actually a, a part of the spermatic cord, uh, which is being exposed in its totality here. Uh, as we then come up this way, we can actually see that the vas deferens, which started down here, comes up and separates right there. So there's the vas deferens right there. Uh, we can see this structure right here, which you would think is a part of the vas deferens, is actually not a part of the vas deferens. This is actually the ureter, uh, not u coming from the, um, the kidney. Uh, now, uh, as the vas deferens comes past the ureter, it actually comes inward here and goes in through this way. You can see on the outskirts here, this structure on the outside, this is actually the seminal vesicle right here. If we were to move this out of the way, we can see that here's where that, that vas deferens comes down and actually comes into this area here, forming the ampulla, which is also this structure right here. So here's the ampulla right here, mm -hmm. as opposed to this structure right here, which is again the seminal vesicle. Mm -hmm. Then we have, of course, the prostate right here, which is what that is. And if we move this out of the way, we can actually see inside of the prostate. And inside the prostate, we have this structure right here, which would be the prostatic urethra, as well as this structure right here, which would be the ejaculatory duct. Uh, so sperm would actually come into the ampulla and then uh, go through the ejaculatory duct into the prostatic urethra. Uh, at the bottom of the, um, of the prostate, we have the uh, urogenital diaphragm, which is what that is right there. Uh, and unfortunately, because there, we don't have a cross-section of the urogenital diaphragm, we can't see the membranous urethra, so we won't be able to visibly see the membranous urethra. However, we can see in this cross-section, of course, the bladder, and then this area right here inside the bladder right there, which is the trigon. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I see. Okay. okay. Um, now, over here we have the sigmoid colon, the rectum, and of course the anal canal would be down there. Uh, as we come this way, we can actually see uh, this structure right here, which is the uh, corpus uh, cavernosum. Uh, and down here we actually have the corpus spongiosum, which surrounds this structure right here, which of course is the spongy urethra. And then of course here we have the glands, or the head of the penis, uh, and then of course the external uh, urethral orifice, which is there. Uh, here is the foreskin, which would be the prepuce, right there. Uh, down here we have the scrotum right there uh, and then inside of that this area right here would be the tunica vaginalis mm -hmm.